Here's how to make one of these cloth unraveling effects. As you can see around in Blender in under two minutes. They're great for like your little viral ads or just regular animation projects as well. Now, there are two ways to do this. The second way is better if you have the image already there and the first is just the general way to do it. But both require an add-on that is already in Blender. You just have to enable it. So first, what you're gonna do is enable the extra curve object add-on, which in Blender 4.2 can be found in get extensions and then install. Or if you've got an older version of Blender, it'll just be in add-ons and then tick to install. Then in your scene, just click Shift A on your keyboard, go to curves, curve spirals, and pick Archimedean. Then increase the number of turns to have it spiral in on itself and add some radius growth. You'll see the spiral actually start to take form this way. Then on the right hand side of your Blender screen, go to data object properties, geometry, and extrude it. Make it as wide as you want your spiral to be. Then with your curve still selected, right click anywhere in your scene and click convert the curve to a mesh. Sorry for the lighting change, one of my lights just died, but luckily that's pretty much it. Now all you need to do is get the actual cloth settings. So to do this, add a cloth modifier onto your object, go into edit mode and spiral gear, and select the first few faces of your curve. This will act as like a handle for your cloth to actually spiral down on, essentially the unraveling point of your cloth. In the data properties tab, click add on vertex groups, and with your set like handle faces selected, click assign. Then go to the physics cloth settings tab, scroll into shape and click pin group and select your newly created pin vertex group. Then in the same cloth sim tab, switch self collisions and that's it. Now your cloth will unravel from that initial determined starting point. Also here, you can adjust the size of the cloth as well. I'd recommend scaling it down quite a bit because the initial default size is gonna be like several, several meters long and that can take quite a while for the cloth to actually simulate. Now you can just add in or paint any textures that you want onto this cloth once you bake the simulation. Now that's great and all if you just want like a generic banner falling down. But for the second option, if you've already got the predetermined image size that you want, what you wanna do in Blender is input your image as a plane and then add a bunch of subdivisions onto it. More so on the horizontal axis rather than the vertical because the horizontal axis is what it's actually like unraveling down from. Then add an Archimedean spiral, just like before, but instead of extruding its geometry, this is where the steps differ. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is on your image plane that's been subdivided, go to the modifier settings and add a curve modifier and rotate your object just in case it's on the wrong axis going around the spiral. You'll know it's right when you can see it actually starts to curve up along the spiral. Then move your mesh so that it actually begins to wrap around the spiral properly. And if it's not wrapping around enough, just scale down the spiral and you'll notice your mesh actually wrapping nicely. Then once you're happy with the amount of spiraling and that result, apply the curve modifier and do the same physics settings as before with adding the vertex group and all the cloth modifier details. And that's it, you're done. That's how to make a cloth unraveling effect in Blender. Super easy, super quick. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.